how to get an acting agent. Now this process was actually simpler than I realized uh, once I had a few things. So in this video, I'm going to tell you or how you can help your child get an acting agent. You will need two to three simple things. Firstly, a headshot, secondly, a showreel, and thirdly, possibly an acting CV. If you don't have any of those three things, check out the videos below. I have videos on how to create those three things. If you've already got them, wonderful, you can plow ahead. Now on a side note, if you or somebody you know who's willing to help you has already got Spotlight, don't worry if you don't know what that is, um, I'll mention that in the video about casting platforms. Um, if you already have Spotlight, they give you a list of all the agencies. So you can email them from there. You can get the contact email address and email those agencies from there. But if you don't have Spotlight, you'll want to do a bit of a Google search, UK agencies. Obviously you can look at top UK agencies. I did this in the beginning. I looked at the actors that I really liked and admired and were doing work that I would like to do and found who they were represented by, which was a lovely research task. But no surprise in the beginning of an acting career that most of those were a no. Um, sometimes you don't hear back, otherwise it's, it's a polite no. They've already got plenty like you on their books. I do apologize for my cat eating her lunch. I um, don't know whether you can hear that or not. Um, yes, so it was a lovely research activity and I'd love to be with one of those agencies in the future, but I'm very happy with where I am right now. Um, and so is my daughter. And I used a very similar process to get her agent. So I was on lots of Facebook groups and other social media groups of parents who are supporting their children through acting. And actually the one that she ended up going with was an advert I saw, just somebody saying that, that their books were open, they were looking for people around this age, around this place, um, and that's how Lacey got her agent. Um, but it is a case of finding agencies, having a look on their website, would you like to be with that agency? If you don't think they're for you, or you don't like their ethos, then, then don't apply. But if you like them, send them, especially if they say books are open, brilliant. But if they don't, if they say categorically closed, then perhaps don't waste your email. Um, but if they don't say either way, approach them with a polite, brief email. Hello, I'm looking for representation for myself and for my child. Um, and then attach um, the headshot and the acting CV if they don't ask for different and a link to your at home showreel that you've created. Don't try and put the whole showreel in an email because it's just too big. If it goes through, it'll clog up their inbox, but more likely it will bounce. Um, so either use YouTube with an unlisted link or WeTransfer or however else you like to share your files. So share a link for the showreel because it's just too big for an email. So unless stated otherwise, and you'll find lots of agencies might prefer you to fill out an online form for them or that cat puts me off every time. I need to learn to ignore her. So they might have a list of online agents. What am I trying to say? You might have a list, this is it, of things that they want you to send them online, or they might have a form that you fill in. So, you know, these are all the details you need if you're seeking representation with them. If they don't have that already built in on their website and they just have a contact email, you can email them briefly and politely with those three things attached. Again, being a link to the showreel, not the whole showreel itself. And you can fire that off to as many agencies as you like. Again, like I said, try and make it personal. Don't just be like, hey, I just want anyone, any agency that will take me. Um, you know, have a look at that agency. Do you like them? In which case, apply for them. I'm just going to check my notes. Um, yeah, some have those separate online forms. Or the, the email address, address might be slightly different. Their, their email address for applying to use their talent, you know, for somebody outside to ask for their talent is maybe different to seeking representation. And that's also what you can use actually in the um, subject is seeking representation and the full name of the person seeking representation. So it's nice and clear. Um, but yeah, the email address might be slightly different. If they've got a few email addresses there, just have a look and decide which is the, the most appropriate for your application. So that's it really. Having your headshot show real TV created 
and then apply, apply, apply. Good luck. I hope you find your first agent. Um, and again, you can use the, the same process if you are looking to change agent. I certainly wasn't looking to change when I changed, um, but my daughter's agency seemed so brilliant and wonderful and helpful. I wanted to change and be with her because it also made sense to be together on one agent's books. So that's how I ended up changing agencies. But in terms of applying for your first one, that's really, in my opinion, all you need to do. And I really hope it works for you. And I would absolutely love to hear if it does, if you do get your first agent from, from completing those steps, please drop me a comment. I would really love to hear that. And I will be so excited for you. So best of luck getting your agent.